Science on the Brain with Marshall Brain. Have you ever seen this experiment before? You take a normal bottle of diet soda, you take some candies called Mentos and drop them in and you get this huge explosion. They're just these normal Mentos candies, you buy them anywhere. You stick them in and this really surprising reaction takes place. Right as you drop them in, the foam that comes out of the soda is so powerful that it can send up a geyser. And this one, you can see those little tick marks. Each one's a foot. This one went up at least 10 feet. Let's watch that again in slow motion. Isn't that an amazing reaction? I mean, you take a bottle of soda, you drop a couple candies in, and boom! I wouldn't want to try it here because it would paint the ceiling and make a mess. But it does give us our big question for today, which is, what causes that to happen? The only way we are going to figure this out is if we do some experiments. So we have to figure out what kind of experiments we'd like to do. So. Let's just think about it. What could cause that to happen? You've probably seen that reaction where you mix vinegar and baking soda and you get a big explosion like that. So one question I have is, is this some kind of vinegar or baking soda reaction? That would be easy to test. Another question is, does it have to be diet soda or could it be any kind of soda? And then what about the candy? Could it be any kind of candy or is it just certain candies or just one kind of candy? The thing is, you can sit and ask all kinds of questions like this, make a list, and then answer them with experiments. Another thing we have to do is make sure that we can reproduce that reaction here in our lab on a small scale. We want to do that because we don't want to go outside and blow a whole bottle of soda every time we want to do an experiment. We're going to just pour some soda in this glass, and then we're going to drop a candy in and just confirm that we can reproduce our results in the lab. So here's a nice big glass of soda. Here's your basic candy. We drop it in and yes, we get an explosion. So we know that this is reproducible and we can do it here in the lab with little cups and single pieces of candy. Newsflash, the soda must be fresh. Even if it's been open for five minutes, it might not work. You've seen this reaction where we take a couple spoonfuls of baking soda and we pour vinegar in it and we get a reaction that looks a lot like that reaction we got with the soda. It's pretty easy to see if that's happening. Here's two cups of soda. Here's some baking soda. What do you think would happen here? Try it and see. Here are four different kinds of soda. Diet soda, orange soda, ginger ale, and plain old soda water. No sugar or anything else in it but bubbles. Candy and diet soda. What happens if you drop candy in these four kinds of soda? Try it. Here we've got four cups of diet soda and four different candies. A Mentos, a Sweet Tart, a Junior Mint, and a Lifesaver. Let's see what happens with these. Here goes the Mentos. Definite reaction. Here goes the Sweet Tart. What happens with different kinds of candy? Try it out. Now here's something I'm curious about. The Lifesaver and the Sweet Tart and the Mentos all have this kind of surface roughness. You can feel it with your finger. You can really feel it with your tongue. So what I'm wondering is, what if we suck off that roughness and try the experiment again? So here we have a normal Mentos. And here we have a Mentos that is smooth because I've sucked all the roughness off of it. What happens here? There's only one way to find out. You gotta try it. So we started with a question. What caused this amazing reaction to happen? And we tried all kinds of stuff to figure it out. We tried different kinds of soda, different kinds of candy. We tried baking soda, activated carbon. And that's really what science is about. It's about looking at something, asking why it happens, and then performing experiments to try to figure it out. You can perform all kinds of other experiments. Would salt make it blow up like that? What about cake batter? I mean, you could try anything and try to get a reaction that's even better than diet soda and Mentos. I'm Marshall Brain, and I hope you have fun performing your own science experiments. Go! 
Science on the Brain with Marshall Brain.